Hey everybody, welcome back. These are some entitled bridezillas being insufferable. My wedding is coming up and I'm planning it all out. My best friend has been so excited to help me plan everything and has even offered to help me pay for some things, which is really sweet because neither me or my fiance's families are really helping. Because of her excitement and everything else, I don't have the heart to tell her I don't want her as my bridesmaid. or even to come up with a reason that doesn't hurt her feelings. The dresses I want wouldn't look good on her body type. They're sleeveless, she has bigger arms with stretch marks and doesn't really have a figure. Shame, shame on you. She's always been awkwardly shaped. Even looking at our prom picture, she ruined some of the photos. We would all look really nice and she just doesn't look as good as us. Oh, 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 what a travesty. What a travesty. Imagine being mad at someone who's bigger than you just for existing. Imagine not wanting to include your friend who's helped pay for your wedding just because she's bigger than you. Could never be me. By the way, nobody cares except you. Nobody cares. Nobody finds it as big of a deal as you do. I'm trying to figure out a way to tell her she can't be a bridesmaid, but I don't know what to say, that she doesn't take it offensive, or if I should like make up a position for her that day. Uh-huh. Oh, I, I'm sorry about your dilemma. It's just so difficult. S such a hard, hard decision you have to make, my dear. So that when it comes time for photos, at least I can separately do them. <laughs> Jesus. I dreamed of this day since I was a little girl. Don't tell me I'm being shallow. My wedding should be perfection right down to the bridesmaids and groomsmen. Honestly, I think that you should tell her flat out so that she can take the money back and not be your friend anymore. I know to some of you, weddings aren't a big deal. Even as a kid, I used to try on my mom's wedding dress and picture the day that I would get married. Oh God, well in that case, like definitely, definitely, just nobody wants a fatso at their wedding, honestly. It's my day and I shouldn't even have to give this much thought to someone else's feelings. Um, honestly, you're literally creating a problem out of nothing. Like this is literally is not a problem. This is you showing your true colors and honestly, that friend deserves better. I hope she saw that post and I hope she took the money back and I hope you guys aren't friends anymore. You don't deserve her. What's gonna happen when you get a little bit pregnant or you know, a little bit older? Like imagine thinking that someone's worth is solely based on what they look like. Guess what? Beauty fades. We're all gonna get a little fat and sassy. We're all gonna look a little old and ugly, okay? Including you and judging by uh, your post, you're ugly on the inside where it really counts. I know it's early, but I just wanted to let you know that something has come up and I won't be able to attend your wedding this weekend. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I was just getting ready for work. What could possibly have come up? His mom called last night and his grandmom's not doing good and doesn't have much longer to live. We are flying out today to be with her and his family. Can't he go and you can come to the wedding instead? Is that a serious question? We wanna see her who she hasn't met yet before she passes. And his family is my family now too and I'm gonna be there for my boyfriend like any girlfriend would do. I get that you're mad and upset and I'm sorry. At least I let you know instead of just not showing up. Okay. This is an excuse to not go to a wedding. Somebody passing away and not having much time left and you wanting to see that person is a reason to not show up to somebody's wedding. And if someone is an understanding of that, then they're so entitled. Like they're literally so entitled. The world does not stop just because you're getting married. Well, when you and your boyfriend get married, I'll make sure something comes up so I can do the same thing you're doing to me. Oh, geez. Wow. Really, we're, we're gonna go that route? Okay, this is how you lose an invite? Or how about I just not invite you? That works, that works too. I said I was sorry and you can be mad at me all you want. This is more important to us and we need to be there. A marriage is not a life and death situation. As much as you would like it to be, your wedding is not a life and death situation. This excuse is, you are allowed to be upset about it. Let me be clear. You are allowed to be upset about the fact that your friend isn't gonna be there at your wedding, but you are not allowed to make her feel bad for missing out on it because she wants to be there for her boyfriend. We've eloped with close family. If anyone wants to give us a start in life, it would be greatly appreciated. After all, what's a loose 50 nowadays? Okay, so you went and you had a wedding with a bunch of people. 
with close family, as you say, but you're asking for money from the people that you didn't invite? It doesn't work like that. That's a loose 50. What's a loose, just give, it is fine, it's pocket change. That's literally saying, yeah, we had a wedding and we didn't invite you, but can you give us money? <laughs> no, no, I can't, hey. I swear, it's always something. My uncle is supposed to marry us. We get married in June. He just called me and told me that his aunt has cancer on his mom's side and that they asked if he can do the funeral. She's on hospice now, but he says there is a chance that he can't do our wedding. Right, cause that's like a, a life and death situation. I've always wanted my uncle to do my wedding. I'm so irritated and pissed off. If it's not one thing, it's another. Comments say they have to plan her funeral for the same day as your wedding. She didn't even die yet. I understand you're upset that your uncle won't be there or he won't be able to officiate your wedding. Is that the term for it, officiate? There are people dying, Kim, in the wise, wise words of Kourtney Kardashian. Diamond earring came up in the ocean and it's gone. Kim, there's people that are dying. Literally. Hi, everyone. Sorry for the anonymous post, but my bridesmaid is on here. Today, we met up for our monthly meeting to go over agenda and order of day, etc., etc. I noticed when my bridesmaid turned her head that she's got quite a number of gray hairs. I mentioned this to her and suggested dyeing it before my big day. Oh, jeez. She refused and said hairdresser appointments are too expensive and she's allergic to box dye. Oh, jeez, Louise. It's really unsightly. Oh no, who's gonna tell this bride that she's gonna turn gray one day? Does she think she's gonna look like that forever? Cause no, honey. Like I said, we're all gonna get fat and sassy and gray, including you. I'm worried it's gonna take away from the beauty of the dress I chose for her. Yeah, only you're worried about that problem. Nobody else, nobody else cares. Any tips on what I can do? I can't pay for her hair appointment as I've exhausted my bridesmaid budget now. Wedding is 10 weeks away and I think her hair is only gonna get worse. She's only 30. Oh no! Oh no, not gray hair! Oh please, oh please, oh please. People are dying, Kim. <laughs> I can't wait to get all fat and sassy. This takes a lot of maintaining. There's a lot of appointments. Sometimes I wish that I could just be gray. I'm not like, super gray, but I got, I got some stress hairs. I got some stress gray hairs. Imagine someone not wanting to invite you because you're getting some grays, babe. If it really bothers you that much, you can edit it out of photos. But then again, there are a lot of people who are happy and privileged. They feel privileged to grow old. A lot of people don't get there. Let's stop maintaining this, perpetuating this, this stigma around people growing a little bit older. Who cares? It's a privilege to be old. Oh sure, I'll stop being diabetic for your wedding. No problem, piece of cake. My sister-in-law and I were planning weddings around the same time. She's one of those brides that needs slash wants everything to be Instagram worthy, Pinterest perfect. Why do you need to perpetuate a false sense of perfection to everyone on the internet? I had been in the family for around three years prior to the engagement. I've been a type one diabetic for over 20 years. I have an Omnipod, tubeless insulin pump, and a CGM. These are small external devices. So come the weeks leading up to sister-in-law's wedding, I get a request that I make sure my CGM is not visible for photos. Oh my goodness. I wear both on my abdomen, so it seemed like a weird request because they are never visible. Oh, weird, okay. How unsightly of you. How unsightly. That's when she informed me that she wanted them to not be visible in photos. The bridesmaids dresses were tight and you could see the small bumps of my devices through the dress. Oh brother. Oh brother. Yeah, this would literally make me not go to the wedding. Like I would straight up just, I would just not go. So she's married to your brother? How are these people married? How do they find some sucker to marry them? This is ridiculous. I asked her how she proposed I do that. She told me Spanx, double layered Spanx. Well, I tried that, except the devices couldn't connect to the PDMs. Too much fabric layers interfered. I informed her of this. She told me to take them off for the day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need insulin. I need, I, I, it's literally life and death. I'm sorry that's an inconvenience to you and it's, just a, a s, 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 I'm sorry that's an inconvenience to you in your picture perfect wedding. I did not remove them and she sucked and glared the whole time we got ready. Oh God. So this person is marrying your brother? Does your brother know? He should. I would wanna know if the person I was marrying felt this way. 
I love my family dearly, but sometimes they are flaky. I'm getting married in October of 2024, and when I send out invitations, I want to put on the invitation that if they RSVP and don't come, I'm taking them to court. <laughs> I'm taking them to court for the cost of their portion of the food and services that I paid for. Is that tacky? Ah, uh, yes, I, I would say that. And that would also make me not come either. Let's just threaten people with a lawsuit if they don't show up. I don't think you can do that. Unless someone explicitly ruins your wedding and like, you know, causes damage and like, Unfortunately, you just have to deal with people not showing up, which is tacky, by the way. If you RSVP to a wedding, just so we're clear, if you RSVP to a wedding and you don't show up, it's tacky. It is also tacky to send out a wedding invitation, a save the date, and to not follow up with an actual invitation, just so we're clear. However, it is kind of just like the deal where if someone doesn't show up, I'm sorry, but you kind of just have to eat that. You gotta eat the, you gotta take the L on that one. Is it rude to put on invitations that gifts of $50 or more are mandatory? My fiance and I have a lot of people in our families that love to show up empty handed to events. They can afford to bring something, which is really distasteful to us. It is, it is kind of distasteful. You are supposed to bring a gift to a wedding. I know that sounds entitled, but like it is really distasteful to show up to a wedding without a gift, unless that wedding is for your boss. <laughs> I'm not taking the money that you're paying me and then using that to buy a gift for your wedding. One of our love languages is receiving gifts. Oh, well, in that case, I feel it's befitting for them to at least come to the wedding with a gift worth $50. That's affordable. I get that you feel this way and you are right that it is distasteful for someone to show up to a wedding without a gift, but you cannot put that on the invitation. <laughs> Update, no, I'm not having a wedding just to get gifts. It's all about love at the end of the day. But if plates cost $150 on top of enjoying an open bar and an individual brings nothing just because they felt like it, I feel like that's a slap in the face to my union and the relationship between me and them. This is why it's good to have a small wedding. Because the fact of the matter is, unless you're really close with someone, it's probably unlikely that they're gonna give you a nice gift or that they're gonna show up or they're gonna take your wedding seriously, et cetera, et cetera. So have a small wedding and you won't have issues with you know paying for all these people that are ungrateful, et cetera, et cetera. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you have a wedding. You have to just deal with it. We chose to have the $150 plate and open bar because we can afford such. How about we forget the $50 price tag? How about they bring something? Yes, someone might not be able to afford $50, but why is everyone coming empty handed widely acceptable? It's not, it's actually a faux pas. My mom's always said that to me. Like, I didn't know. Some people maybe genuinely don't know. It's not acceptable. It's just some people don't know. You are supposed to bring a gift. And if you can't afford it, you make a gift. You find a way to like, you know, wish the happy couple a wonderful new life together. It's fact of the matter is it, you're supposed to bring a gift, but you're not supposed to ask for the gift. <laughs> Would I be the a-hole if I remove my friend as a bridesmaid? You are always an a-hole if you remove a friend as part of your wedding party or a bridesmaid or any anyone important in the wedding party. You are an a-hole. Unless of course you guys have some sort of big fight and et cetera, et cetera. It's still, it's still an a-hole thing to do because hopefully y'all would work it out. But let's just see what you have to say. Maybe it's reasonable, I don't know. I've been engaged to my fiance for two years now, together for eight years, and we're getting married this summer and are very excited, obviously. One of my close friends who now lives in a different city started dating someone. They've been together for three years now and own a house together. Together. They're perfect for each other and I've been their biggest supporter since they've been together. They got engaged six months ago and part of me was disappointed since my wedding is coming up and I feel like their engagement is taking the shine off me now. Why does it always go in the direction I think it's going? Like why? My wedding date was set before they were engaged and I asked my friend to be a bridesmaid and she excitedly said yes. Everything was fine until she recently told me her wedding will be the weekend after mine. And? She said it was the only date that lined up with her and her family's schedules. She's having a micro wedding with just immediate family in the mountains, which she said her mom was planning. I'm just so frustrated and I feel like she's trying to take away from my day. Except her wedding isn't on your day, is it? It's not on the same day. It would be another thing if she planned the wedding for the same day as your wedding. But it's literally not on your, you get laundry. <laughs> I so badly want to be happy for her, but a part of me is just so upset that she won't have her full attention on my wedding. Oh God. Who's to say that she won't? The world does not stop just because you're getting married. I just can't help but feel so angry about this and I'm thinking about removing her from my bridal party. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking that you probably should do that because you kind of sound like you're not a very good friend to this person. So would I be the a-hole if I took her out of my bridal party? Oh, for this reason, honey, 100% yes. Subscribe!